This demonstration will show you the combustion of methane. Here's the setup. I've got a little paint can and I filled that can with methane. Now I don't have any methane going into it right now. I filled it up beforehand and then I lit the little hole that's on the top of the can. And So now you see a nice blue flame coming out that hole. That's the methane burning. Now we know the chemical reaction that's going on here. Methane plus oxygen makes carbon dioxide plus water. Now here's the interesting part of this demonstration. Because I'm not continually refilling the can with methane, the amount of methane in the can is decreasing. That's because the chemical reaction is using it up. What about the other reactant in this equation? What about oxygen? Is the amount of oxygen in the can decreasing? The answer to that is no. Why not? Well, there's a little hole at the bottom of the can. And as the methane gets used up, air gets sucked into the can to take its place. And the air brings with it more oxygen. So in the end, the amount of methane in the can is decreasing, but the amount of oxygen in the can stays roughly the same. This leads to a rather interesting effect, but it takes some time to develop. So I'm going to skip ahead in the video a little bit. Okay, it's about three minutes later in the video now. What's the difference? Well, the flame's a lot smaller, isn't it? You can barely see it. Why? Well, the methane was being used up, right? And so as the amount of methane in the can decreases, the rate of the reaction decreases. And as a result, you get a smaller flame. All right, so as the amount of methane decreased, the rate of the reaction decreased. That shows you that reaction rate is dependent on the concentration of the reactants. But reaction rate depends on something else as well. It depends on the mechanism of the reaction. And in this case, the mechanism of the reaction is about to change. All right, I want to show you this again, just so that you have a good idea of what's going on here and because I like explosions. All right, so methane is burning at a relatively slow rate because the concentration of methane continually decreases. Now, under normal circumstances, you would expect this reaction just to kind of peter out after a while because the concentration of methane gets lower and lower and lower. The reaction gets slower and slower and slower, and eventually it ought to just stop, right? Well, that would be right if it weren't for the fact that the reaction mechanism changes. The change occurs when the ratio of the concentration of oxygen to the concentration of methane gets very large. Now, the same reaction continues to happen. Methane plus oxygen makes carbon dioxide and water. But when the reaction mechanism change occurs, the rate changes as well. This new reaction is about 10,000 times faster than the old one. So as a result, we're doing the same thing, taking methane, making carbon dioxide and water, but we're doing it 10,000 times quicker. That leads to the explosion. This is why if you ever smell natural gas in your home, you should immediately leave your home without touching any light switches or anything like that and immediately go somewhere and call the gas company. When natural gas reaches the level to which you can smell it, then the ratio of the concentration of oxygen to the concentration of methane in the air is about right for this fast reaction mechanism to occur. And if you do something as simple as turn off a light switch, that could generate a spark which could ignite the explosive mixture. And then your house would end up looking like this paint can.